I can't believe that our soldiers could be carrying so many explosive potions. These poor soldiers were torn to pieces. Animals again, or something else. New footprints. It looks as if a group met up with them and took this path. There was more fighting over here. There are not only the corpses of our own men, but where could these other soldiers have come from? What were they doing with all these explosives on them? There are footprints. Only a handful made it up to here. The path stops on this overhang, and despite signs of a skirmish, I can't see any sign of Constantine or Catus. And these rocks were broken. As if they had taken cannon fire. What could have happened here? I don't recognize these men. Still more unknown soldiers. Could they have been responsible for the attack? This one is carrying a letter. Let's see. According to this note, this troop came from an outpost at the bridge alliance close by. A patrol, no doubt. Could the bridge in some way be linked to this attack? 
That makes no sense. I recognize this sack. It's my cousin's. Oh, Constantine, what have you gotten yourself into again? These vials look familiar. Katasach used the very same to stock his potions. He must have come here. I'm going to pick them up. Very well. Let's sum things up. Constantine and Katasach definitely came through here to perform some sort of ritual, but they were attacked. An attack obviously involving wild animals. And then there are these traces of inexplicable flames. Could it be magic? No colonist understands how to control the fauna of this island. Whereas for the native wise men... You believe Katasak could have orchestrated this attack? Who else? You know all too well that with your cousin a hostage, you would be obliged to see to the demands of the natives. He would then have only accepted to treat him in order to gain his trust. I don't know. But regardless of who is guilty, I must find my cousin. We could return to Wen Xavier to learn more. Perhaps Katasak returned there. Or maybe his Voglendai could tell us where to find him. We are also going to have to visit the outpost. Their soldiers were involved in the combat, or at least the end of it. They must have some stories for us. And you think that they would have taken Constantine? Is that possible? Maybe he was in need of treatment. But if you suspect them to have participated in the combat to capture him, I think you're wasting your time. I know the captain of that outpost. A pessimistic man who would never order an attack without being absolutely certain of total victory without losses. Perhaps. Unless he was simply obeying orders. It does belong to the coin guard, after all. However, one way or another, Constantine is in danger. Let us be on our way without further delay.
colonials. You must have gotten lost to have come this far from nowhere. To whom do I owe the honor? Disarde. I am legate of the congregation of merchants on this island. A legate? Here? Pardon my dismay, but we don't get many uh, official sorts around here. Captain Idris, I am the ranking officer in charge of this Bridge Alliance outpost. What can I do for you, sir? I'm looking for Constantin Dorsey, the island governor of the Congregation of Merchants. A governor? Here? Whatever would he be doing in this rattle? My cousin was part of an expedition in this region. His men and his camp were attacked. They nearly all died. But we found no trace of his body, which has us hoping that he may still be alive. Wounded and holding up somewhere, or even captured. Have you cast your suspicions in our direction? I hope this is a joke. We've had neither reinforcements nor supplies for weeks. In my book, we've been totally forgotten. I wouldn't risk the few lives remaining to attack a governor's camp. I'm not crazy. I'm truly sorry for your cousin, Excellency, but we haven't seen him. And we definitely haven't kidnapped him. The region is dangerous. The natives are heartless. You should be looking in their direction. You do know that we found the bodies of several men from the garrison up there, don't you? How could you be sure? One of them was carrying a note, signed by your hand. And they are dead. I had hoped they'd have survived and would eventually return. Explain yourself, Captain. What were your men doing on the clifftop? They were monitoring the zone. They were to warn us of any troop movements. We have lost too many men to surprise attacks. We decided to take initiative and be ready. Yesterday, we heard screams and saw some strange lights up there. But I was hoping... And you didn't go and see for yourself? You hear screams, certainly those of your own men, and you don't do anything. So the last of my men give up their lives for nothing as well. You can think of me as a coward if you like. But me, I'm taking no more unnecessary risks. Why do I have the feeling that you're holding something back from me? Captain, my name is Afra. you might remember me. I passed by this outpost with my fellow scholars. The Lost Expedition. Yes, I remember. His Excellency was able to extract us from the situation we found ourselves in. His Excellency has powers that I do not possess. I'm casting no stones at you. You are isolated and without resources, and understandably a bit angry. You have the feeling that the powerful of this world have abandoned you, and you want to make them pay. But a life hangs in the balance. We must save him. <sighs> You were right. I will tell you everything I know. One of the men I'd posted there returned during the night. A survivor? Excellent. Did he tell you what happened? He wasn't able to say a word. He collapsed unconscious two steps past the doorway. Our nurse sits with him, but... There is little hope that he will come back to himself. His wounds are extremely serious. He's just... Refusing to die. I'm sorry to hear that, Captain. Perhaps we could do something for him. Go and see the nurse. Perhaps you can do something to help the poor boy. I can't take it anymore. To lose another man. Anything else? Concerning the young man that survived. Did you see the nurse? Not yet. Really? I thought that your cousin's life hung in the balance. This boy will not survive long if someone doesn't help him. Anything else? I need to be going.
What are you doing there? This is an infirmary. I know. I've come to see the wounded soldier. The captain told me you might need my help. That is very kind of him. But alas, it's a little late. What are you saying? Is the soldier... No, he still lives. But I've been asking the captain for weeks to escort me on a mission to replenish my stocks. I no longer have a single remedy. And now that we have a wounded patient, I can only wipe water on his brow and hope. Do you know what type of remedy would allow him to survive? Yes, at least I think so. It's a known potion that heals burns. I see. Give me the recipe. We'll go and see that it's prepared for you. <sighs> Thank you. Because of you, this poor boy might be able to survive his wounds. Were you able to concoct the potion against burns? Yes, I was. Might we administer it? Give it to me. I'll take care of this. Uh, we must wait and be patient now. Will he make it? I hope so. We'll know soon enough. This potion is extremely potent. And if he survives, when could we speak to him? Come back tomorrow at the same time. We'll know more then. Very well. I'll come back tomorrow. See you soon. And thank you again for your help.
Hello, soldier. How are you doing? Better. A lot better. Are you the one who saved me? The nurse told me. I simply prepared the potion that she told me how to make. Nothing more. Could you tell me what happened during the attack? I will try. They're not really memories I'm fond to bring back. A lot of my friends died up there. We were posted up on the peak to follow rebel movement. It had been a couple of days when we heard sounds of fighting not far from our position. Men were screaming in our own language. So we went to see what was happening. Soldiers of the coin guard and an islander were trying to protect a young man. He, he seemed dire ill. Constantine Katasak and his escort. Who were they fighting against? Dozens of wild animals. They seemed completely enraged and intent on devouring them. And there were flames. Flames? Where were they coming from? I don't know. My friends and all the soldiers fell one after the other. I didn't see everything. All was blood and confusion with beasts and fire. But I thought I saw another islander. Big. He's the one who took the sickened man. There was practically no one left on the battlefield. I was wounded and I, I passed out. I came to when I heard voices of islanders approaching the rebels. I thought to myself, they're coming to finish off the wounded. I, I got up with difficulty and fled. I dragged myself here. <laughs> and you know the rest. I'm going to have to go and find these rebels. You shouldn't do that. They killed all of my friends. You take a great risk. That's enough. Rest now. You're still far from having recovered. Yes, it's best I leave now. I've learned enough. I'll have a word with your captain. Goodbye. told that you saved my soldier. Thank you. You can't imagine what this means to us. Please. I did nothing more than follow the instructions your nurse gave me. Did you learn what you needed to learn? Yes. I was able to question your man and he told me what he saw. He and his company heard sounds of the attack and they went to investigate. My cousin's escort were already nearly annihilated by animals that jumped out from all sides. A strange sorcerer controlled them. It was he that took my cousin. One of those rebel savages, no doubt. I knew that they'd be behind all of this. They must have learned that an important man was in the region and thought he would make the perfect hostage. <sighs> I'm sorry. I would give you some men, but... Don't apologize. I know where the camp can be found, and if my cousin is there, I will free him. Like you freed the scholars. You're a good man, Excellency. Thank you again for saving my soldier. I need to be going. I would very much like to do the same. Safe journey, Your Excellency.
Hello. Renegse, there you are again. What do you want? To speak to you about my cousin's capture and the massacre of his escort. A soldier from the nearby outpost survived and told us that you were present on the battlefield. You dare come here and accuse us of taking him? Let me throw him out this Renaixi and his Ilkderen. May they receive this punishment for their arrogance. I know that you see us as your enemies, but we are not here to harm you. I only seek to find the man I consider to be my brother, as well as the man who is protecting him. Katisach, one of your greatest Donegada. No Donea Exregal would attack Katasach. If you didn't attack him, you must know what happened to them. I was told that an islander took my cousin away. Perhaps your men were there to aid them. We do not have your cousin, and we do not know what happened to him. As for Katasach, and Avorst, Tire. He died from his wounds. That night, we heard the sounds of a terrible combat. The ground shook all the way to our homes. We went to sea, but we arrived too late. The last breath of Katasach had returned to the wind when we arrived there, and many of the Renaigse were dead. We could do no more. We carried the body of the Donegad and brought it here. He gave his life to protect Constantine. May he rest in peace. This request might surprise you, but we would like to see him. Why? What do you want to do with him, Renaixe? Examine him to understand what killed him. We were told that an island native was there and that he likely led the attack. No Donea Exregal would attack Katasach. You have been lied to, or they were mistaken. That is the very reason I need to see his body. To understand. You may see him. But if you desecrate his body, you will pay for this offense with your life. Hello. Renaigse, there you are again. What do you want? I must go. If only you could all go. Katasach, seeing the state of his body, I hate myself for having suspected him. Forgive me, Denegad, to have doubted your loyalty and even more for what we are about to do. Now then, let's see what story this corpse has to tell. I can give a detailed examination of the corpse. It is a task that I have been trained to perform. I gladly cede the privilege. We note a great number of large blunt force contusions, covering the entire surface of the victim's body. None of the wounds could be attributed to a blade or a spear, nor are there any visible bullet entry points. Practically every bone has been broken in multiple places. 
The rib cage was torn open and then collapsed. The open wound reveals multiple perforations of the vital organs. Here, the borders of the wounds have been singed. The flesh is blackened, exposed to a flame, no doubt. And we also note several patches of mineral residue. They seem oddly out of place in spite of the exotic insular origin of our deceased. I would be hard pressed to tell you which of the wounds proved to be the fatal blow, but one thing is certain. He was smashed violently by a giant rock that was without a doubt on fire. Yes. These wounds are similar to those given by a heated cannon shot, though in a less regular fashion. The dead soldiers we found had identical wounds. As crazy as this may sound, whoever is responsible for this attack is capable of wielding molten rock. In any other circumstance, your conclusion would qualify you for an asylum. But I stand on the side of the improbable. The natives' powers reside outside the body of knowledge we possess. We still don't really know who is actually behind this attack, nor what they want. Judging by the severity of these wounds, I fear the worst for Constantine. All your experiments. You've learned so little. You've learned to fear. Your instincts should have been enough. We had to at least try. Are you not even concerned or angered by what happened to Katasa? We've grown accustomed to the loss of lives, your relentless attacks and incessant treacheries. All the same, there is truth in your words. This attack is out of place. Guardian and Donegad would never attack one another. There is a ritual that might help us. Anatalas Fair. The Anatalas Fair? What is it? Tell me more. It is a magical rite that only a person with a powerful bond to both spirits and nature can perform. It allows the Donegad who chants it to relive the last moments of an Onol Manawi. That would allow us to at least see the face of his assassin. If what I have heard is true, yes. To my knowledge, only one Donegad still living knows the ritual. Let's ask her for her help, then. She might be able to tell us what has become of Constantine. You are quick to ask another to put her mind in danger for your own concerns. Imagine the pain of the wounds of another, shaking your body as the cold of death crushes your beating heart. This is what you must ask of the Tiernahach. It is the price she must pay for performing the ritual. When her companion was lost in battle, fighting against your own, she wanted to live that death beside her. Since that day, our Tiernahach Kedachtas has never breathed air with the same breath. That would explain her distrust of the Colonials. You must make her see your purpose. It may be the only way you are going to learn the fate of your cousin. 